Hey you guys, so September is Children's Cancer Awareness Month. My family is not directly affected by children can children's cancer. Um, I have relatives who have cancer, who have had cancer, who have fought cancer and, you know, gave it all they had, but they didn't make it. Personally, cancer is such a terrible disease. I hate it. I wish there was something we could do. I wish there was a cure. Sadly, there's not, but um, children's cancer, it breaks my heart because no child should have to fight a disease like cancer. It's so terrible, and it breaks my heart like a million times over, but I decided, um, I did a little research on cancers and, you know, awareness months. And I decided that something I can do on my channel is do a look every month that showcases a color that stands for Cancer Awareness. This month, obviously, is Children's Cancer Awareness Month, and it is gold. I did a gold lid and a nice kind of burgundy red lip to kind of give it a fall look, but still have an everyday wearable look, but with Children's Cancer Awareness. I know next month, October, is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Usually I put a pink streak in my hair, I donate money, and I'm going to be doing a pink look next month, but I figured why not start it off this month because I love children and it breaks my heart when children have cancer. But I hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you do and leave a comment down below what you'd like to see next on my channel. I just placed a ColourPop order this afternoon. Um... Friday afternoon. I don't know if this is going to go up Friday or Saturday. But, um, yeah, and I'm pretty excited about it. It's a bunch of different things, and I'm really excited. I'm probably going to do that as a haul on my channel. Some other drugstore things I'm purchasing today. And I hope you guys enjoy. Love you. Alright, so I've already primed my eyes with the Lorac Eye Primer, and I'm going to go in with my... Makeup Geek Shadows. I'm going to be using the more warm shades on this side. Alright, so I'm going to start with Creme Brulee. Which is this color right here. I'm going to be taking that on a big fluffy brush. I use the Sigma E40. And I'm just going to put that into my crease and towards my brow bone as my transition color. Then I'm going to go in with Frappe from Makeup Geek, which is a little bit darker, and I'm going to kind of buff that over that creme brulee shade, but more into the crease and a little lower. Now going in with Coco Bear from Makeup Geek, which is one of my favorite shades. It's very warm and very gorgeous. I'm going to be putting that on the outer part of the lid. And blending it into the crease. I'm not going too far in on the lid just because I am going to be putting down a very gold glittery shade. A highlight. It's a highlight, y'all, but I mean, I'm going to use it as a shadow because it's too gold for me. Then I'm going back in with a big fluffy brush with no additional product. You can go in with more product if you want. I'm not going to. And just blend out any harsh edges. Alright. 
now going in with Champagne Gold from Becca. This was a limited edition highlighter. I don't have any more gold shades. I don't have a gold shadow, and I don't use this as a highlight, obviously. <laughs> that would look a little crazy, but I am going to use it as an eyeshadow because I don't have a gold shadow. You can use whatever you want, but this is what I have on hand. I'm just going to put that all over the lid and blend it into Cocoa Bear. And I'm going to build this color. probably need to buy lighting, but I'll do something in a second. Alright, now I am going to go back in with more peach smoothie and just blend everything out. I'm sorry if you guys hear Sex in the City in the background. All right, let's see if I can make some light. All right. I'm just gonna coat my lashes with mascara. I'm using Great Lash. I feel like everybody and their mom, especially their mom, has this mascara. And I'm going in with the lashes, Coco Lashes in the Style Goddess, and I'll be right back. So, I'm out of lash glue. I lied. I'm not putting on lashes. But I already primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm out of the Primer Water. I'm out of Primer Water, so I've been using this lately. Mm, it's whatever. I am going to go in and just conceal some breakouts because I've been breaking out bad lately, as y'all can tell. I think you can tell. It's just been an everywhere kind of situation. I'm just going to take this brush. I've been using this for concealer. It's not like a Morphe brush or anything. It's something I got off Amazon. If I can find the set, I'll link it down below. I'm mixing two foundations because I'm not quite dark enough to wear the 832 in the CoverGirl Outlast. So I'm mixing it with True Match Lumi in W12. Um, I'm going to self-tan after this video because the self-tanner I used did not give me enough color. So there's that. And I'm just going to mix those on the back of my hand. And I just take the excess and kind of wipe it onto my forehead. Nothing special. Just my hand sanitizer. Probably the only person who keeps hand sanitizer 
on my dresser on my makeup vanity this is from that same set it's a, just a round buffing brush nothing special if I can find that set I'll link it down below because it was eight brushes for ten dollars I'm just gonna buff that into the skin Drag that down the neck. Going in with Maybelline's Age Rewind Concealer to get those dark circles out of here. I love this concealer, y'all, for dark circles. I usually get this one in my skin tone and then another concealer to highlight in a shade lighter. Going back in with that same slanted brush. I'm just going to blend that out. I'm really going to be pushing that into the skin before I start to move it. go back in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15. They were at a 10. When I went and just kind of highlight. I don't go overboard highlighting. It's just not something I do. Hmm. Then going in with the Anastasia Contour Kit, I'm pretty sure this is just the original one. I'm going to take the banana shade and the matte kind of white shade, and I'm going to mix those two together and set that concealer. And this is the pointed brush from that set. If I find it, I swear I'll link it down below. But, I mean, if you just search on Amazon makeup brushes, you'll find it, I'm sure. Alright, now I'm not contouring today. I haven't been contouring a lot lately, and I'm far too pale to contour. I'm going to zoom you out real quick. I'm zooming you in. Um... I haven't been contouring a lot lately just because I'm kind of on the fair side right now. But um, what I've been doing if I don't contour is I take my blush, and this is a very cool toned blush from e.l.f. It's in the shade Twinkle Pink. I'll just kind of suck in my cheeks like I would if I'm contouring and just let it kind of go in there. And it'll kind of create a nice shadow.
and that just creates a nice flush to the cheeks. Now I'm going to go in with Champagne Pop and just highlight the top of my cheekbones. I can grab the right brush. Alright, now to finish up the under eyes, I'm just going to take a nude liner. I'm not going to like be super smoky with this look, just because. Y'all, this is all smoky mirrors. When I do my makeup, I usually just sit around the house and do nothing. I've currently got running shorts on and a t-shirt, a nice shirt. My nose is itchy. Okay. Then taking Champagne Gold from Becca or whatever gold shadow you're going to be using, I'm just going to take that on a pencil brush and kind of put that on the lower lash line. That's a lot of fallout. putting some mascara on them bottom lashes and I'm probably going to be out of frame doing this because I will. And then just to finish off I'm going to tell you, I don't know what color I want, so y'all, I'm searching. Yeah. Never mind, I'm going to do a glossy lip. I thought I was going to do a matte lip, but I'm going to do a glossy one. I'm taking this Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in cha -Ching Cherry. I'm going to take the MAC Lip Liner in Burgundy and fill in my lips first. I'm going to be out of frame. Out of frame. I'm sorry. Now going in with that buttercream. All right, and This is the finished look. Very fall appropriate, not a matte lip. Promise I'm going to do a fall tutorial with matte lip soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed.